Hey there Glam Squad and welcome back. So this week is going to be a very quick video on color. Now last week I showed you how to do a colorful eye look but this week you might be wondering how do you know which colors to use with which and so we're going to have three tips on how to select colors. The first one is nature. Now, if you see something appearing in nature, then it's pretty certain that it'll match naturally. And what I mean, and it's sometimes not always colors you think go together, such as if you have um, a, a brown bark of a tree with green leaves, those two colors may not seemingly go together, but brown and green can go together. And so what you want to do is look for things in nature, like um, maybe look at fish. Uh, orange and white little clownfish go together. Maybe I'll put little pictures here of things I can think of. Um, but like when you look at a sunset and all those colors, sometimes when you look at the cloud when the sun just starts setting, especially in California where we have gorgeous sunsets, you might see purples with blues, with orange, with yellows. So when you see those colors going together naturally in nature and how they create like beautiful effects, then it's something that you know you could use in a, in a makeup setting. It may not always seem like it goes together, but if it happens naturally in nature, then you know naturally it's going to go together. So my second tip is a color wheel. Now, I actually have used this quite extensively, especially when I first started doing makeup, and I didn't have really feel confident about which colors would go with which. One of the things I found, though, is if you naturally pair colors together that are on the opposite spectrums of color wheels, they'll create a naturally neutralizing effect. For instance, today I did my eyes in a really bright teal, almost like a turquoise color, as you can see. Now, I did that with this color here, and I and I actually used the color in the crease, which can also be called a transition color. I used a, a red or a purple. So it actually was more like a pinky red. That sounds dumb. It was more like a, like a, a red. I started with pink and then I kind of built into a darker red because just like I showed you in my last week's video, I started with a lighter color and got darker. And so I used the exact same thing. I used, um, using these turquoise colors, I worked my way on the opposite end of the spectrum. Now I can kind of do this naturally. I don't have to look up the color wheel every time, but sometimes if I'm like looking at a color or I want to try something new, I actually will pop out a color wheel. You can just Google one on your phone. I like this one because it has like um, uh, variants of color and I'm like, you know, shades, uh, different tones and hues. So it actually kind of helps because like today I use more of, um, of a bright turquoise, but if you use like a dark green, which I love a dark green and I often will put a dark green with oranges and oranges naturally correspond to the, well, not exactly, but it, I'll use these kind of tones with a green and those will actually create almost like a smoky, uh, green smoky eye. And I don't have to use a lighter shade of green and kind of um, naturally build up. With this color, it actually naturally kind of created a smoky look, but it just happened because these two colors neutralized out. And so um, this is something I have found very helpful. It's great when you want to do blues um, or purples and you want to create really dramatic effects and you don't know which colors to pair with. Either pair with the same hue, like in this case you could use three different purples, or try using an opposite color. So color wheels are really helpful and it's a great tip. The third way is your clothes. Well, let's take a moment to let that sink in. Do you guys like bourbon? I love bourbon. Just so you know, in these films, I'm always, and when I'm filming, I'm always drinking something. Sometimes it's coffee, sometimes it's water. Tonight it's a little aperitif. So one of the things you hear all the time in makeup is you shouldn't match your makeup to your clothes. I don't know who thought of that rule, but I watch a lot of YouTube uh, makeup tutorials and that's one of the things I hear a lot. Well, I hear a lot of things that I don't believe is true. I don't know if that makes me a makeup rebel or not. <laughs> no. Um, but honestly, I don't believe that that to be true. I wear, I match my makeup to my clothes all the time. I love matching a lips. Like if I'm wearing, um, like maybe a red sweater, I love wearing a red lip. Maybe sometimes in that same shade. Um, if I'm wearing a green dress, I'll often wear green makeup. If I'm wearing a blue dress, I'll wear blue makeup. I love matching my, um, 
close to my makeup and sometimes it's just kind of a cheat because if I know I'm wearing a purple sweater and I it almost is like easy to do a purple makeup look I don't really have to think about it I don't have to worry about is this makeup gonna contrast with what I'm wearing um and so that's also a good way too if you're wearing purple and black then maybe just do a simple purple look and maybe some black eyeliner and there you go and so those are the three ways that I kind of always match color hopefully these three little hacks will help you but if they don't just have a drink well hopefully these three tips will help you in creating color combinations don't be afraid to experiment one of the other rules I have for myself is I have to wear my mistakes and trust me I have worn a lot of mistakes fortunately I don't have a lot of co-workers so I don't have to worry about too many people saying it but I'm not really afraid to wear something that maybe doesn't work because sometimes hearing uh, exposing maybe what I think is a mistake and then hearing feedback from other people say they like it or they don't like it is good because then I get an idea of what works and what doesn't because sometimes when people are complimenting you it may be your makeup but they're also maybe actually complimenting that that color is flattering on you and it's maybe a color you wouldn't normally think it would it would work but it does and so it's always good to try to experiment and maybe go outside of your comfort zone a little bit with color but just try those th try one of those three things and see if it helps you until the next one so I almost forgot this week's giveaway. So a couple of weeks ago, Monique and I went to the International Makeup Trade Show and it was so good. But one of the things that you, her and I bought was a makeup palette called Moira. It has so many colors and my goodness guys, I could not believe it. We paid $15 for this palette, but it is worth so much more. It's got four highlighters, so many colors, and the amazing thing is, is the colors are shimmery and pigmented, but the mattes, are like butter they blend so perfectly so I'm gonna insert a picture here because I don't have mine but you'll be getting a new one um obviously I'm not gonna give you mine one because I love it also because it's used but if you win this week's giveaway you'll be getting this palette here so I hope you get to win this palette and um, definitely if you want to be entered as you know you have to l give a comment also I think I'm going to add an extra little caveat in this week's giveaway that you have to be subscribed to our channel and subscribe to our Instagram account and both of those are also linked in the description box so if you are the selected winner I'm going to check and make sure you're following both and if you are then you will win this palette here so I'll see you in the next one glam squad bye